Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale your Bun Speedomatic coffee maker. So this is a picture of a bun that has not been descaled. This is why descaling is so important. I've got a video where I take this bun coffee maker apart, but this is a picture of how that tank on the inside looks when it hasn't been descaled. So we're going to use distilled white vinegar from Walmart. You need 32 fluid ounces. This is a 64 fluid ounce and it's a buck 50 from Walmart. So here's the manual which explains how to do the cleaning. They say you should do it every three months or if you've got hard water, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we don't have any coffee in. We've just got the filter basket. We've got our coffee pots empty. We're gonna open this up. So since this is 64 fluid ounces, I'm gonna dump half of this vinegar in. And all we do is we dump it right where the water goes. Now this vinegar has kind of a strong smell to it. And again, we just got to judge. So that's a, that's a little more than half, but that's okay. Okay, so once we got our vinegar in, we're going to close the lid. What that does is that lets that vinegar go down into the heating element by pushing that down. So we close the lid. Again, it's going to flow out. We're going to let this flow out. And when it finishes, then we're going to turn the machine off over here. This is the this is the part that um, is the heating element in the back. This up here is just for the warming plate. That switch is just for the warming plate. So we're going to leave that off during this process. But we are going to leave this on for just a little bit longer until this pot gets full. Okay, so that took just a couple minutes to finish running out. Now this is going to be hot water, so be careful. So once this is See, there's no more water running out. I've got the lid down. That means that vinegar now is inside this, this heating tank back here. And now they say to turn it off. So we're going to leave this switch off for two hours. So for two hours, leave this switch off. We're going to let this, so that vinegar now is inside this tank back here. And it's soaking that heating element. And it's going to descale that heating element. Now we can simply just throw this away. So I just emptied the pot, definitely leave this one off. Again, there's what your, your filter basket is going to look like. So we're going to take this out and we're going to take the coffee pot off. And then when this thing cools down, so after two hours, we're going to, like I said, leave this switch off for two hours. We're going to take the brew head um, out. So after the two hour mark, your all this will have cooled down enough to where you can go up here and there's the brew head. It simply just unscrews, but don't do it right now because there's kind of hot water coming out of there. We're just gonna unscrew that and we're gonna clean that separately. Okay, so it's been two hours. I've let the vinegar soak in here. I'm gonna leave the switch off for the time being. Now they want us to do the brew head. So again, up underneath where your coffee uh, trays, your coffee filter tray is, you should be able to just turn this. And it doesn't take many turns, so mine is a little dirty. So I'm going to take this over the sink. They really want you to make sure that those nozzles are open. They want you to use a little paper clip and just poke through those nozzles. Make sure they're nice and open and not clogged. So again, I'm going to take this over the sink and clean it up. Okay, so I've got a paper clip. Again, we're just going to make sure those are open. Mine are all open, so that's really good. Okay, I've got mine all cleaned up. They want you to leave this off until we do the rinse. So we're going to leave this off until we do the, until we uh, put some water through it. And then before we turn the switch on, we're going to put this on. So we're just going to put the filter, make sure this is empty, no coffee, no filter. We're just going to put this back on. I've rinsed this out with soap and water. We're going to fill this up with water to the tin mark. Okay, so now this is filled up with just fresh water. We're going to lift this up. We're going to dump our water in. Now, as long as we got the lid open, it's not going to come out of the brew basket area. So we're going to immediately put our coffee pot down there. Then as soon as I close this lid, it's going to start coming out here. comes out pretty fast. 
I think I'm going to want to put that brew head on because it's coming out so fast. Okay, so now the coffee pot is filling up. I'm going to, this is going to be that vinegar now. Again, I've got the switch off. We're just doing fresh water rinses of the heating element. We're going to do three, three of these. So I'm going to throw this away and then I'm going to fill it up again. Okay, so that only takes less than a minute to run through. So again, I'm going to go throw this away. So I made quite a bit, a little bit of a mess doing it that way. I'm going to try a little different. So, you know, it, it actually might be a better idea to put the brew head on, in before you do all this. But I'm trying to follow the manufacturer's instructions. So I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to take this lid off. So we're going to pour our fresh water up here again. I mean, I get why they want you to leave the brew head off. You may get some deposits, but so let's put this down here with no brew basket and no lid. Put it right underneath there. And when I close the lid, yeah, that works a lot better. Instead of using the filter basket, yeah, that works a lot better. So see how the water water's just coming straight out right into the pot. So again, my switch is off. I'm not heating this water. They call this fresh water rinsing to get the vinegar out. And they want you to do this three times. After the third time, then we're going to put the brew head on. And we're going to turn the switch on. They say it's ready to go, but I'm going to run another one through there with the heating element on. So yeah, this works a lot better when you do it like this. But I do get why they want you to leave the brew head off because you can get some pretty big calcium deposits running through that tube that might break off that heating element and that would definitely clog this up so okay so I'm gonna go rinse this out and every time I, I dump this down the drain I'm kind of rinsing the pot out so that I have really good fresh water okay so I've got fresh water I'm gonna dump the fresh water in there again this will be my third time I'm going to put the pot directly down underneath there, and when I close the lid, that's when it starts coming out. So you need to give yourself about two and a half hours to do this. The mainly is two hours of letting it sit and soak with the white vinegar. Okay, so that was the third time. I'm going to go dump this out again, wash it out, and we'll do one more water rinse. Okay, so I've still got the switch off. Before I turn the switch on, I'm gonna put this brew head on. It just screws on a little bit. It, it doesn't screw on a whole bunch. Make sure you don't cross thread it. And Bun does sell a high altitude brew head if you live in Denver or something. So yeah, just a couple turns and then not super tight because you're gonna get this off every three months. Okay, so I've got the brew head installed. I've got my fresh water again. I'm gonna pour my fresh water in. Now this time I'm gonna put it all together. So I've got the brew basket again empty. I've got this all together. And then I'm gonna turn the switch to on. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let, so there, there is water inside here right now. I'm going to let it heat that water up for, it takes about five to 10 minutes. You'll hear that water really start to boil and then it'll kind of slow down. So once it starts to slow down, then I'm going to close this lid. And when I close this lid, that'll replace that water um, with fresh water. And then your coffee maker should be ready to go. You shouldn't have any lingering uh, vinegar taste. That vinegar um, can kind of linger in there if you don't rinse it well enough. Okay, so it's been about another 15 minutes. Like I said, that water heated up back here. I've got my switch on. I'm going to leave my switch on now. I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lid down and that's going to run that, um, another fresh water rinse there with the heating element on. So again, I hope this video helped. Um, this was for the Bun Speed Brew Coffee Maker. Now the newer one looks a little bit different than this, but it has the exact same uh, instructions. They've kind of changed the look of it a little bit, but you can use it on the new uh, speed brew that they're making. 
So if you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.